Welcome to Elias Family Kitchen, everyone. I am really excited to share my go-to recipe for a fantastic all-purpose pork bone broth. And the best part, it only calls for four simple ingredients. In Cantonese Chinese culture, sipping on homemade broth is a regular tradition. Pork bone broth not only keeps your skin hydrated, it also provides a collagen boost. See that jelly-like consistency? It is the result of the breakdown of collagen into gelatin during the cooking process. This broth is super versatile. You can enjoy it on its own or use it to make quick and tasty soups and noodle soup dishes. Let's get started. Bring two large pots of water to boil. Fill each one with about five quarts of water. Cut up two carrots and one small onion into big chunks. Wash six shiitake mushrooms and set aside. You can use fresh or dried ones. You can use any type of pork bones. I'm using five pounds of pork leg and neck bones, plus one pound of pork shoulder, because I like to eat the tender meat when it's done. The pork bones have blood inside that can turn the soup dark and unappetizing. For a clear and appetizing broth, the bones need to be blanched. If your pots are not big enough, cut this recipe in half. Water should fill up just a little over halfway in the pots, leaving room for bones. To blanch the bones, simply drop them in hot boiling water in one of the pots. Bring to a boil and then cook on high heat for 10 minutes. Once the bones are in, they should be immersed in water completely. And you should have at least one inch of clearance below the rim of the pot to avoid spillovers when it's boiling. You will see the impurities being released and the blood oozing out. After 10 minutes, transfer the meat and bones into the other pot. If you see large lumps of blood on the bones, you can use a spoon to scrape them off. Blanch the bones in two batches if necessary. Add the onions, carrots, and shiitake mushrooms. Make sure there's enough water to cover all the ingredients. Bring to a boil and then simmer on low heat. Simmering means you should see small bubbles in the water, like this. Simmer for at least three hours. For best results, let it cook for six to eight hours. This one is simmered for seven hours. When it's done, I like to remove the fat from the broth. The fat can be saved for cooking or simply discarded. You can remove the fat with a ladle or a fat separator. To skim the fat with a ladle, place the edge of the ladle just below the surface of the fat. You will see all the fat gushing into the ladle. Use the ladle to gather the fat in the pot. It will make it easier. Remove the meat, bones, and vegetables from the pot. I always save the tender chunks of meat for noodle soup or use it in other dishes. The bones and vegetables are usually discarded. The vegetables are edible, but they don't have much flavor anymore because all the flavors are extracted into the broth. The mushrooms and onions add earthy umami flavors, and the carrots add a touch of sweetness to enhance the overall flavor profile of the broth. This is optional. If you want a clearer broth, use a fine mesh strainer to strain the residue. Season it with salt and white pepper to taste, and the bone broth is ready to serve. I drink a bowl of this almost every day. It is our Cantonese secret to radiant, beautiful skin. I'm using a fat separator to further remove fat from the broth. This is optional. Save extra broth in the fridge. It will turn into jelly-like texture because of the collagen present in bones and connective tissues. When bones are simmered for an extended period of time, collagen breaks down into gelatin, giving the broth a thick consistency, rich flavor, and nutritional benefit. With the pork bone broth done, I can whip up a quick and delicious noodle soup meal in 15 minutes. Simply boil the noodles and heat up the broth. 
I'm going to add some pork and shrimp wontons and throw in a few pieces of baby bok choy. Add a little bit more salt and white pepper to taste. Grab a few tender chunks of pork from the soup. Then the cooked wontons. And the baby bok choy. Then pour the hot, delicious pork bone broth on top. And you get a bowl of noodle soup that tastes better than the restaurants. I always keep this versatile bone broth in the fridge. It is my go-to for various soups and noodle dishes. And it works great as a substitute for chicken broth in recipes. I will share more recipes using this broth soon. Stay tuned!